caller advised patient has been drinking and taking drugs for the last few days. 36-year-old male. So call comes in to us for a 103M, which we immediately know is a mental patient. And it sounds like it's a concerned father. Okay. He's been drinking like three or four days straight. Okay. Nonstop almost. Yeah. I don't know if he's done any drugs. I don't know. Okay. Just all of a sudden, uh, it just a demonic look basically on his face. He's okay. All that. I got you. I got the, so I don't know. He has any medical problems at all? Uh, he's bipolar. He okay. hasn't been on drugs. Has he been on taking his medicines at all? No, he hasn't had his meds in a long right. time. Based on what the dad's telling us, we really have no idea what to expect. Hey, Joseph, how you doing? You been drinking? Yes, ma'am. You been doing any drugs? No, ma'am. You sure? Yes, ma'am. All right, well, because you've been drinking by law, we have to check you out, OK? Yes, ma'am. So why don't you just come downstairs with us? We'll check no, you out. I'll go, go with you. OK, good deal. For this guy, we really just want to know, are you physically ill versus emotionally ill? Cooperate with these people. They're here to help you. OK. Please call. Dude, no, I love you, Pop. Everything's going to be all right, bro. No sweat. <laughs> You been taking your medicines? No. So what kind of medical history do you have? What do you take those medicines for? Uh, PTSD, um, seizures, and my lack of sleep. Just relax. So can you tell me sleep. what happened tonight, Joseph? I just got too drunk. We check his blood pressure, his heart rate, his oxygen levels, his blood sugar. Everything's normal. I love you, Pop. All right, Thank brother, we'll you. see you in a second. Yep. Yeah, I'm kind of out of it, Holly. Why are you out of it, bud? I drink too much. You drink it every day now? I have a bad liver. Well, then why are you drinking? I have no idea. You I know that's bad for your liver. What? That's bad for your liver. Yeah, I lost my daughter, Hurricane Katrina. You lost your what? My daughter, Hurricane Katrina. You lost your daughter in Hurricane yeah, Katrina? I, I am did. so sorry to hear that. A foot of water when I was offshore. I was in the military. I am so sorry to hear that. How old was she? Three years old. Her name is Rebecca. Rebecca? Yeah. I am so sorry to hear that. Uh, that is terrible. That is terrible. She'll be 12 years old today. It's her birthday today? Yes, it is. Really? My daughter's birthday. That's terrible. Oh. Yeah. I love my dad, though. I Your love dad my dad. Your dad's been there for you? Care of my dad. Yeah, he's been, been there for me ever since. Good. You know, I, I love do. my dad, too. I, I, yeah. I know what you mean. Yeah, I take care of my dad. You should. You should. Do my military check and take care of my dad. When were you in the military? Six years ago. E3. Good for you. Thank you for your service. You're welcome. I appreciate it. All is battle soldiers stable. Yeah. Okay. It goes back to your worst day. What's your worst day? Today is his day. I may, in some small way, help this guy. And I'm going to take the chance versus not. Thank you. You're welcome. I love your tats. Thank you. Props. Props, mad props. <laughs> Sit up, New Orleans 911. I think I just had a miscarriage. Do you see anything like fetus or tissue? I just see a lot of blood. I was using the bathroom. OK, so do you see, like, tissue or anything, or just blood? I don't know. I don't know. OK, ma'am, I'm sending this call to the dispatcher now. Don't flush the toilet, OK? OK. I'm well, a 20-year-old female in her first trimester fighting cold to the fifth. You're past your first I'm trimester, way but past the first trimester. you are with child. Yes. Well, I wonder how far along she is in her first trimester. I mean, it could also not be an issue because some spotting is normal. Depends on how much and what color, and is there any pain associated with it? Being pregnant myself, my heart goes out to her. This could be normal spotting, or it could be something more serious. Right there? I'm guessing so. And that's it. Right there. Let me just see what's going on. Hey, baby, we here for you? We here for you? 
Okay. What's going on, love? Well, I'm, I'm, I don't know if I had a really scary sister. I was bleeding earlier, but it wasn't a lot of blood. Okay. Is it somewhere? She told me no press the turn. Okay, but I was in the toilet. The uh huh. As awkward as it is, part of our job now is to see what is in the toilet. Is there tissue? Is there blood? Does it look like she had a miscarriage? How far along were you, baby? That, like, that looks like tissue. So. I think that's a miscarriage. So when we look down in the toilet, we see expelled tissue that is bright red in color. In the first trimester, mostly you're going to see nothing but tissue. I'm pretty confident that this patient has miscarried. Where was your OB doctor? What hospital? Have you seen anybody yet? I had an appointment tomorrow. Hey, well, look, I think you most probably need to go and Just let them get check jacked. you. OK. OK, they need, to, they need to make sure one way or another. Okay. You want to grab your stuff? I can't imagine emotionally what's going through her mind. You got family you want to call or anything? I was about. No? OK. Knowing that there was this life inside of her that's not there anymore, it's heartbreaking. You, you OK? I just don't want her to see my belly. You want me to take this? I don't want it to hurt her that I'm pregnant oh, I'll, I'll and she just lost hers. I'll take it. Let's right. walk to the truck, baby. And I got your key. I'll lock your door for you. She is just so brave. She is attempting to hold it together, but I can tell that deep down she's hurt. She's upset. And it's times like this when our job becomes not just about the medical side of things. But we also now have to treat the emotional side of things and just try to be there for her. Take a quick set of vitals on you. Go ahead and lay back. There you go. Let me see this finger. One finger over here, my babe. It's OK. Is this your first pregnancy? OK. I hope that this patient remembers that this is not her fault. This is nothing that she did. She didn't cause this. And I hope she knows that this doesn't mean that she's not meant to be a mommy, and that one day she will be. We can't definitely say that you had a miscarriage. They're going to have to do an ultrasound, and they'll check, see if there's a heartbeat there, you know, and then they'll take it from there, whatever they see, all right? Hey, girl. Those calls always kill me. Yeah. They're always sad. I, I can't say I know how she feels because I've never been pregnant and I've never lost a child, you know, uh, uh, an unborn child. So, yeah. But I'm sure, you know, it, it does a number to your head. So, I can't imagine. I, I'm, being I'm sure in her. you can't. I mean, I know those first couple months were definitely the scariest, the most yeah. stressful. Don't want to say anything to anybody just in case right. something happens, so. Right. She'll survive this. You know, it was her first pregnancy. I know it's tough. I hope she finds somebody to at least be able to talk to and. She'll be OK. When you deal with so much loss and so much sadness that you have to depend on your partner to be there emotionally and physically for you. And I know that. Lori has my back, and if I need a few minutes to cry, Lori will be there, and we'll be on to the next one. All right, girl. I guess we'll go out there and get another one. Let's do it. All right, girl.
Agitated tonight, man. I see you be uptight. Tall. Oh, you, you slim. You fairly decent looking young man. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm gonna pretend this conversation never happened. Hey. Because I feel like you just lost a little bit of your street cred with that one. Street cred. Got so much credit, man. She called me Walmart. You know how we would have in a second. Walmart? Right. <laughs> I, don't wear... I, was, I, was, I don't know where I was going with that one. <laughs> I was thinking about people yeah, go to Walmart, they buy things, uh, and they take it back South without Carolina a receipt, Avenue, and they get credit. That is quite possibly the dumbest I ever heard in my life. <laughs> <laughs> number of people outside. Key Lee. She not having no asthma attack. When I got to her, she was having oh, an anxiety I'm attack. OK. So we calmed her down. Her lung sounds are clear. Mama, what you want to do with her? What? You want to go to the hospital, or you yeah. going to take her home? I want to take her to the hospital. She got chest pain. Oh. Why are you cussing me? I heard that ass is all the way over I just got here. Yeah. We actually have to ask everybody. It's just, an, it's just a regular. Going to the hospital, no, huh? ma'am. For a 15 year old, ma'am? I had people shot that didn't want to go. So we, it's just a question that we I ask. I take precautions with her. That's cool, that's cool. You her mom? I'm her mom. Y'all keep asking me about her mom. Not me. Not me. That's the first time I asked you that. That's OK. She's fine. Huh? <laughs> They're not gonna do you nothing. You just gotta calm down. You got me acting ugly with these people for nothing. Nobody's Baby, all, gonna hurt you. All we're gonna do is give you a bumpy ride to the hospital. That's it. Key Lee. That lady ain't getting in my truck. She ain't coming with me. I would say we deal with emotionally upset family members every shift. My priority was to just get this girl out of that overly stimulating environment and just get her in the truck and, and start the calming process. All right, two. Uh -huh. You can meet her at the hospital. Listen, you're not listen, coming in here. You ain't gonna tell me I can't go with her. Ma'am, no, ma come talk to me. We're not. Come you can't talk come. To me. You, she'll explain it to you. I'm gonna take care. You're gonna uh, put some stickers on you, right? We're gonna have to have a talk. She's not riding about herself. Take are you gonna listen to me? We cannot have someone that's as upset as you are riding in the ambulance. Ma'am, if I'm gonna be worried, it is man. our decision. Well, you better let somebody else get it than one of my nephews. I can let anybody else Stop that's gonna there. be calm, and they're gonna ride up in the front. Hold you. It's for everybody's safety. I uh, got a, uh, the cousin's riding up front. That's fine. He's that, cool. Not her. I, I got it. He's not cool. Her. He's cool. Come on, man. Let's roll out. Right, tell me about your day. Why are you so upset? <laughs> what happened with your mama? OK. That's a good reason to be upset, sugar. There's nothing wrong with that. You just have to relax, OK? Slow your breathing down. We'll get y'all checked out at the hospital, OK? <clears throat> I always thought that the other lady was her mom, so that lady's not her mom. No. Right. Over there. Yeah, I don't cancel. Damn. Do you know what I like, though? Seeing that family stepping oh, up, you know what I mean? That's Duh, for real. That's real talk right there. Can't let them just go straight. For sure, I hate it. Well, I'm sorry to hear about your mom, OK? But as you grow up, you got to learn how to deal with things, OK? Because this isn't good for you. You got plenty of family out there that was real concerned to get you help. You need to find one of those people you can talk to regularly about your feelings. Don't hold that stuff in until it bottles up like this. In my mind, I'm thinking she doesn't need an ambulance. She doesn't need an emergency room. All she really needed was a quiet area for one of the adults around her to just hold her hand, explain the feelings that she's got to help her through that moment. That was it. We all grieve, baby. All grieve differently. Be safe, be strong. Let's do this. Get that stretcher in here. You're gonna bleed to death. Grand <sighs> the nozzle, grand the nozzle. No, they're not dead. I can work with them.